From Viking halls to the cities of the future, Terrain buffs will love our foreground hub. Watch gaming tables of all genres come to life at beastsofwar.com. Become a general of mighty armies at the Kings of War Hub. Take command of elves, dwarves and orcs in this game of masked fantasy combat on beastsofwar.com. Hello everyone, it's vlog about Drop Fleet Commander Weekend. Okay, <clears throat> we're all feeling a little worse for wear here at Beast of War HQ. So this is it, this is our final weekend, or our final week of prep come Friday. Boot campers will start to arrive to start building their fleets, getting ready for a weekend of low, what is it, upper, low earth, low orbit battle? How do you describe it, Justin? Uh, just orbital combat deployment. <laughs> anyway, stuff, right. I'm tired. So on Wednesday, here's what's going to be happening. We're going to be vlogging a lot this week now to bring you up to speed with everything we're doing. On Wednesday, this room should hopefully be completely transformed um, into what will be um, our final setup. I'll talk to you more about that in a minute because it's quite an interesting game. Lloyd is on Thanks. moon duty. So it's um, uh, one of the interesting things in uh, Drop Fleet Commander is as well as space stations, when we looked through the rules, we discovered that you can have moons. The moonshot scenario. That's no moon. That's no, no, a space station. I'm sorry, Warren, but that's no space station. That is, in fact, a moon. Oh. Anyway, <clears throat> so when we saw that, we thought, oh, we should make some moons. Um, so Lloyd's working on moons. On Tomorrow, we'll bring you... A full tutorial from Lloyd on how Lloyd does his moon. Well, we'll definitely do the carving. If we get to the painting stage tomorrow, that's a bonus. Yeah, tomorrow or Wednesday. Um, it, it, anyway, this week you will find out how Lloyd does his moon. Because nobody does a moon quite like Lloyd. Justin, <laughs> Justin, 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 come here, come here, hey. come here, quick. Get down on your knees. Get down on your oh. knees, right? Like, this is like... that moment from Star Wars. Right, <laughs> it's perfect. We could almost recreate. All we need is Vader to burst in in front of us, and me and you shite our pants. All right. <laughs> so yes, Lloyd will keep you up to speed and uh, moves. John is going to be doing space stations. Space stations. So today, actually, in this video, John is going to take you through some of the steps that he has been following mm -hmm. in order for us to get. 50, 56. 56 space stations, including the biggest ass space station you've ever seen, and a fleet. Yeah. It's the most beautiful fleet I've ever seen. But a, a paint scheme that couldn't have been more simple. Yeah, exactly. But it had to be that way, honestly, in order for us to, to, get, uh, to, to get this boot camp uh, yeah. together. Justin. Yes. We can actually talk about something because... Yeah. An interesting thing is I have never had much experience of actual kind of fleet games. Yeah. Uh, fleet space station-y kind of games. Well, we've played space games before, but it's always been more of a dog fighting feel to it. Yeah. You know, it's the smaller fighter craft. Now we're talking capital class ships, that big graceful sort of battlefield. The thing about it is, though, um, this boot camp has been quite different for us in many ways because all the other boot camps that we've done have been kind of that... Um, infantry level where we've been able to add more and more and more and more terrain yeah and sw swap things out and, and make everything very three-dimensional the thing is when you get to this this scale yeah the suddenly, rest of your terrain has to scale suddenly, way down suddenly a lot of that just wasn't possible so we had we and our attention had to go into building loads of plastic kits painting loads of plastic kits yeah um uh, john maybe on Wednesday or Thursday, we'll do a little tutorial on how we're going to do our holographic cities and stuff like that. Yeah. Yep, I'll get on that. We will do that. But um, so in this game, there is, as you can see, there are very specific kinds of shapes and things that the the, the kind of the zones and the objectives and stuff uh, sit you on. You see, that I believe is called your clusters. Yes, clusters. And then you have the zones within the clusters. Mm -hmm which are actually what you're taking, and then they're color-coded to actually tell you what type of district they are. So you've yeah. got commercial, <laughs> military, industrial. There'll be more in the future, but mm -hmm. for now, that's what we've got. So we found ourselves 
um, that the likes of these things, but um, these are kind of what they are. So our attention has been on the little holographic projected bits that are, are going to appear on it. Mm -hmm. The other thing that we've found is that stuff has to stay flat for a game like this. So, you know, uh, we'd originally kind of thought, oh, we can do all sorts of debris fields and stuff like that as well. But whenever we got into actually how the game plays... Yeah, you have to be fit to fly through that. You have to be able to fly through it and stop on it. Yeah. So suddenly, stuff that is sticky uppy just uh, just didn't it work. So yeah, so it's been a really really interesting game or interesting project for us because the game so definitively defines, mm. <laughs> so it's definitively average. defines how everything should be and how everything should look. Yes. So I'm really looking forward to over the course of this week seeing how everything goes together and let's seeing what we're going to do three planets mm -hmm. so we have a kind of a temperate planet a desert planet and a kind of like an ice world planet so we've got these uh, these three planets that we're going to be setting up and then of course we have my own uber space station to to put together yeah and it's going to have yeah. its own accompanying fleet so I'm yeah, really like, you guys will have that. seen some of the builds for it and perhaps even some of the the further along stages of it, but you've not seen the finished thing, and the finished yeah. thing is going to blow you away. Well, watch John as he uh, shows you how we're doing some of our paint schemes. This is Monday morning, and uh, I've been a little bit busy. One thing I want to do first, I finished it. my stuff. My stuff, it's painted. It's done. It's actually done, which is a good thing, because there's a lot more to do. A lot more to do. But anyway, I'm going to let other people talk about that. What I'm working on at the minute is we have a lot of ground assets. We have a lot of ground assets, and we need to get those into a position where we're pretty much ready to put them down onto the table in the next couple of days, or even in the next day, maybe, if I'm lucky enough. So what you can see we're doing is priming black and then zenithing white with an airbrush. So what I've done, if I'm going I'll actually just demonstrate we'll talk about the other thing on the table in a minute i'll show you the approach to this because we've been using a mixture of blue tack and double-sided tape so it all does that which is really nice and because i don't want to stand and ruin my back i can do this make sure my airbrush is working and then just then from a completely top down approach i'll just finish that I just work my way along all the lines. So that's coming on really well. Once these are all zenith, they'll come off this board and uh, we'll figure if we want to black the edges of the bases or anything like that. Now, the other thing that people have been asking about, the monstrosity. The as yet unnamed monstrosity that is Warren's station. This is going to be for our feature table. And as you can see, uh, probably from the last update, which I think only half of the, the, the central cylinder have been done, it has grown a little bit, and it's quite vast, and there's a lot of stuff on it. So, the build's being complete with that. It got primed this morning, uh, and now I'm currently working on other detail parts. Like, I've zenithed it as well with white uh, over the grey primer. From there, we're going to have to start picking out other details, like solar panels, you know, gold, maybe a touch of silver, some reds, that sort of thing, just to bring it all out a little bit. <sighs> so, there's a lot of things to do. There are a load of ships as well. Um, Warren has a fleet now. I say Warren has a fleet because I'm painting it. So it'll be done in a similar sort of fashion as the big station here. It's primed grey, it'll get its white zenith. And um, after that we'll see about adding some details and stuff to it. It should all look really, really nice when it's done. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at Monday morning. And hopefully a couple of other guys will come on and let you know what's been happening throughout. All right, another little update. Uh, this is still Monday, just after lunchtime, and I want to show you where we've got to. So first, I'm not going to show you that first. We're going to come over here and show you the finished zenith on all our ground assets. Um, I might look into a couple other things for this, but I would say beyond a little bit of tidy up, I would hope they would be done. We may do something else. I'm not too sure yet. I need to consult with the Warren on that. Um, over here, I've started to work on Warren's fleet. So here we have our 24 cruisers. Yes, 24. It's, uh, yeah, there's a few. Uh, I thought my fleet had a lot of ships in it, but apparently this one just had to be bigger, because why not? 
Um, at the moment, I'm working on the Zenith for them. Warren would like them to be a very sort of a high gray, almost white. So sort of typical NASA sort of idea to it. Very light colors and break that up with a little bit of color here and there. So the process for the Zenith thing is pretty much the same as the ground asset, so though it needs a little bit more attention. So we'll try on this one here. So at this front, what I'm doing there is doing an initial spray and then a hard line down the middle to try and give me a little bit of a higher tone on the central part. On the wings, And then for the higher part, I usually go to the outside. Like that. And then down the sides, it's basically, if I can get at it, I'll hit it. So it's mostly down the bottom where the gun turrets are mounted here. And what I'll do for the underside is I'll flip the cruisers over and uh, just do a bit of a general zenith on that rather than being particularly pointed about it and focused on it. Hey, well, that is the stage that I'm at at the moment. This monstrosity has been Zenith, which is nice. Uh, it's turning out pretty well. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, there's a few more bits and pieces to do with space stations and the like. But for the time being, I'm going to kick Justin away and let me get back to this. So hopefully I'll have the frigates done shortly. There's 32 of those. Seriously, Warren. I understand the whole air on the side of awesome, but seriously. Uh, and there's a few other space stations that need tidied up again as well. So hopefully there will be an end of Monday update to this. So you'll see how that ha how I come along later on. So guys, it's the end of Monday. I'm just wrapping up by cleaning up my airbrush here, getting some water through it, back flowing and everything like that, just to make sure that things clean. Uh, what have we achieved today? Well, this has been achieved today. So everything that was here went from being grey, uh, plastic or resin, it all got primed and it all got zenith today. So that is where today has taken us. So we have the majority of this stuff ready for his detail work uh, and discussing what further options we have, particularly for the ground assets. Um, if you want to come over and have a look at the space stations briefly as well, They've now been separated into three piles. Stuff that's done, or that we think is ready to go. We have stuff that needs its detailing, and stuff that detailing has started on. So there's a few more steps to do to each of them uh, before we're happy with those. And yeah, that's where we are at the end of Monday. So hopefully on Tuesday we'll push on a bit more and we'll start to get detail work onto the assets and the ships and the big space station that we've uh, primed and done today. So yeah, let's see what Tuesday brings. In a world controlled by massive corporations, a steady aim and split-second decisions are needed for your Megacon to complete its goals. Begin your missions at the Mercs Hub on beastofwar.com. Progress comes to a world of magic as science and the arcane combine to make marvels. Meet steampunk inventors and orc mystics at the Volsung Hub on beastofwar.com.